In a hilltop village outside the West Bank city of Ramallah, a momentous day. Well wishers gather to welcome home a Palestinian prisoner. It's a cross faith homecoming. Suhair Baguti was freed before dawn to great celebration. There's been no sleep since. Um Asif, as she's known in Arabic, is one of more than three and a half thousand Palestinians detained after the October 7 attacks. She was not charged or told what she was accused of. She says this photo was taken by the arresting officer and posted on his Facebook page with the following caption. Israel says the officer was not with the IDF. The Baghouti family believe he was with the Shin Bet, Israel's internal security agency, which did not respond to our questions. The Baghouti clan have long fought against Israel's occupation of the West Bank, some with guns and some with words. In 1978, Um Asaf's husband Omar was sentenced to decades in jail. Her son, Saleh, was shot dead in 2018 after an attack on Israeli settlers. Another son is in jail for killing two Israeli soldiers the day after his brother died. And her youngest son is being held without charge. Her husband's cousin, Fakhri, spent 34 years in prison for killing an Israeli soldier. Um Asaf says the family are regular targets of Israeli forces. She was held without charge. It's called administrative detention and was one of 240 prisoners released during the week-long ceasefire with Israel. Many of those freed were of minor political value. They include 107 teenagers like 17-year-old Ahmed Newman Abu Naim, arrested for throwing stones and an incendiary device. He was due to be released next month. The prisoner exchange has played well in the West Bank and here in East Jerusalem, and it means a lot to the families of those who have been freed. But it is not the main game. To release the soldiers it holds hostage, Hamas will push Israel to free those who are serving longer jail terms, like militants and political leaders. Among those who could be released, Um Asef's two sons and Marwan Baghouti, a distant relative who many, including some Israelis, want as the next Palestinian president. Despite the toll of this conflict on her family, she believes resistance is the only path forward. She supports the October 7 attacks and does not believe that Hamas intended to kill women and children. Around 800 civilians were killed on October 7, including hundreds of women and scores of children. Survivors have reported witnessing rape and torture.
The green flags on display during her release are Hamas banners. Her husband, Omar, who died in 2021, was a Hamas leader in the West Bank. She says an Israeli officer told her she would be re-arrested if she gave interviews after her release. Um Asif says she wants to live in peace, but her dream is not a two-state solution with a separate Palestine and Israel. والله بكذب عليك اذا بقول لك انه دول في يا عمي احنا يدشروا لنا فلسطين ويروحوا وين ما يروحوا يدشروا لنا فلسطين بدناش غير فلسطين احنا بدنا ارضنا ومن مطرح ما اجوا اللي اجى من العراق يرجع على العراق واللي اجى من الشام يرجع على الشام واللي اجى من امريكا يروح على امريكا واللي بس هذا مش مش لهم هان هان مش لهم as for the Israelis who were born here...